I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the Southern Red Oak. Southern Red Oak, Quercus falcata, is one of the 11 red oak species that are commercially important in North America. It's also called Spanish oak, turkey foot oak, water oak, or red oak. It is one of the more common upland southern oaks. In addition to its timber, southern red oak is an important wildlife tree and has utility as a shade tree. Southern red oak is a medium to large size tree that grows 70 to 80 feet tall and up to 24 to 36 inches in diameter. It typically has a long straight trunk and a rounded crown. It's relatively fast growing and hardy, and it can live up to 150 years. Southern red oak is widespread in the eastern, the southeastern United States. It is characteristically an upland tree that grows on dry, sandy clay soils, but it is occasionally found on sandy loam soils along streams and fertile bottoms. Southern red oak is typically found in transitional forest communities between the mid-slope hardwood forest and the upland pine forest. Its common forest associates are scarlet oak, sweet gum, black gum, hickory, and pitch pine. It is considered intermediate to intolerant and shade tolerance, and it can be confused with black oak and cherry bark oak. Southern red oak is deciduous with alternately arranged leaves. The leaves are simple in form and typically 5 to 9 inches long. The leaves are somewhat obovate in outline with lobes that are bristle tipped, and those bristle tips are a good characteristic to tell red oaks as a group from white oaks as a group. Southern red oak leaves have two common forms. One has three lobes with shallow sinuses, that's the space between the lobes, and it resembles a turkey's foot with one long terminal lobe and two shorter lobes on the side. The other form has five to seven lobes with deeper sinuses. The leaves are shiny green above and pale and fuzzy below. Fall colors range from russet to copper to brown. Southern red oak is monoecious, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow-green on long, drooping catkins, and the female flowers are reddish and born in little short spikes. Both flowers emerge with the leaves and the bloom in the spring, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is a smallish acorn. The acorns are typically one and a half inches long, and they're kind of orange, orangish-brown in color and somewhat pubescent or furry. The acorn cap is relatively small, covering less than a third of the acorn. The acorns mature in the second growing season and ripen in the fall between September and October. The acorns are dispersed by gravity on steep slopes as well as longer distances by squirrels and blue jays. The hoarding habit of squirrels is important in the dispersal of oak seed. The seeds overwinter on the forest floor and germinate the following spring. Seed production begins around 25 years of age, with best seed production between 50 and 75 years. Good seed crops occur at one to two year intervals, and southern red oak along with other oaks are capable of vegetative reproduction. They sprout vigorously from the stump when the top has been killed or cut back. Oaks in general are important for wildlife, and southern red oak is no different. The tree provides nesting sites and good cover for birds and mammals late into the season, since oak leaves typically persist longer than their other plant associates. The acorns are important; they are a really important food source for wild turkey, blue jays, red-headed and red-bellied woodpeckers, nuthatches, grackles, raccoons, white-tailed deer, and squirrels, just to name a few. The acorns of the red oak group are especially important in the winter because acorns from the white oak group germinate right after they drop in the fall and, not are, and are not available throughout the winter. The bark is dark and relatively thick. The rough um, broad ridges are separated by deep narrow furrows, furrows or fissures, and the inner bark is slightly yellow like black oak Quercus velutina. The wood falls into the red oak group and shares many of the same traits, but it is considered inferior to northern red oak Quercus rubra. The wood is light to medium reddish brown color, though there can be a fair amount of variation in that color. It has medium to large pores and a fairly coarse grain. Red oaks, such as southern red oak, do not have the same level of decay resistance that white oaks possess. Southern red oak wood is used in construction lumber, railroad ties, as fuel wood, and for interior finishes and flooring. 
there are co-national champion Southern Red Oaks. One is in Sussex, Virginia, and it's 321 inches in circumference, 92 feet tall, with a 114 foot crown spread. The other co-national champion is in James City, Virginia, and it's 274 inches in circumference, 140 feet tall, with a 105 foot crown spread. Kentucky also has co-champion Southern Red Oaks. One is in Fulton County and it's 194 inches in circumference, 95 feet tall, with a 108 foot crown spread. The other co-champion is in Laurel County in the Daniel Boone National Forest and it's 192 inches in circumference, 97 feet tall, with a 97 foot crown spread. And if you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest National Register of Champion Trees or check out Kentucky Champion Trees at the Kentucky Division of Forestry. Now for a few fun facts about Southern Red Oak. It's often called Spanish Oak, possibly because it commonly occurs in areas of the early Spanish colonies, but it's unlike any oaks native to Spain. Another common name is turkey foot oak, and that name is derived from the shape of the leaves, particularly on the young trees. One of the grandest southern red oaks recorded, according to PD in the Natural History of Trees, was in Sudley, Maryland, and it was reported to be 23 feet in girth, 105 feet tall, with a crown spread of 129 feet. The scientific genus name for the southern red oak is Quercus, which is the Latin name for oak, and the species name Falcata means sickle shape in reference to the leaves. I hope you enjoyed learning about the southern red oak and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or your neighborhood and enjoy this outstanding red oak.